branch wiring takeoff. Before we get started, let's make sure we're looking at the takeoff screen and have selected the correct job, vendor, and labor that we wish to use. For the phase field, select the branch option from the dropdown. That will automatically open library number six branch at the bottom of the screen. We can also see that the branch library's item categories are shown at the bottom as well. Keep in mind that you must single click to drill down deeper into each item. If you double click, you may accidentally skip an important screen. For this example, let's choose Surface on Bar Joist by single clicking that item. Next, we'll see subcategory options for Single Run, Single Run with 4 11 16 box, Multi Run, etc. We'll select EMT on Bar Joist Single Run and single click that item. Next, we must select the size, so let's single click the three quarter option. The assembly groups window will now appear, and it is here where we select more detailed specifications for our previous selections. First, we'll select the coupling type that we are using. In this case, we'll select EMT steel set screw by checking the box to the left. Next, we'll select the wire size that we're using, in this case, number 12 stranded. What do we want for ground wire? Let's say number 12. Next, we'll select the inch and a half deep combo box. For the connector, let's select the steel set screw connector. We'll skip coring and fire stopping because we might be subbing it out. Next, we can select conduit bodies or LB. If you want some, then you can make a selection, but it's okay to skip this part too. Once you're happy with your selections, Click the takeoff button. Before we add a quantity, let's add a comment so that we can better identify this fixture. We'll say that this is our three quarter EMT home runs. Next, we'll add our conduit length using the number pad located to the right. In this case, we'll enter 160 feet and then click the enter prompt button. The next formula prompt listed is for number of elbows. That line is there in the case that you want to purchase elbows. In this application, we'll bend in the field, so even though it already says zero in the number entry field, we'll manually enter zero and then click enter prompt to skip to the next formula prompt item. For field bends, we'll say that we'll have three bends. Enter that via the number pad and then click enter prompt. The number of segments is used to come up with the number of connectors. However, you can't know the number of connectors without knowing the number of boxes, so in this case, we'll say three segments for three boxes. Then click Enter Prompt. Hanger spacing will be every 10 feet. Enter that and click Enter Prompt. Additional feet each wire is for makeup and should be entered as a total containing each end. For example, if I wanted five feet on each end, we type in 10 to include the amount for each end and then click Enter Prompt. For number of number 12 wires, we're talking about branch. So for example, we'll say that we have four wires and enter it. Finally, and as mentioned earlier, our number of boxes should match our number of segments. So we'll enter three boxes. Once we click Enter Prompt for the last item, we'll return to the takeoff window. Next, we'll close the library windows towards the bottom of the screen until there are no more windows with the red X close buttons displayed. To review, we can see that line one on the takeoff screen shows our comment. Remember, comments do not have a material unit or a labor unit, and that's because it is just an identifier. The next line shows the name of the assembly that we selected earlier, and that is marked by a red rectangle icon. That one will also never have a material unit or a labor unit. Below that are the items that make up our assembly. We can see that each item's attributes are adjusted based on all the information we entered earlier. Thanks for watching this Connes tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Connes software systems.